So today, we are going to be making a palm cross. So we're going to start by tearing off the rough edge. So that's on the side, so we're going to use our thumb to tear off the rough edge. Like so. And we're going to be using what's called the wrap yourself in the face method. So you're going to wrap yourself in the face twice, but you're going to start by finding about the middle. But before we do that, we need to cut off the end. Because that's dead and we can't use that. Now if these palms are blessed like they usually are, you need to dispose of them properly by burning them or burying them. But now we're going to find the middle. It's right about there. So we're going to fold it up about it to make an L. And we're going to fold it back down. And then here comes the first wrap in the face. Then comes the second wrap from the horizontal. So you've got the vertical going up, down, and up again. Then the horizontal comes across. And then you're going to feed it through the hole. Let's see if I can actually show off it going in. Like so. And you're going to pull it all the way through. So now you've got the knot. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use this side for the arms of the cross. We're going to use that side for the bottom, for the vertical part. So we're going to start by feeding it through, and we're not going to pull it all the way through. Because this is the arms of the cross. So we're just making that for how we want it. And then we're feeding it back through to make the second arm. And we're about balancing out how smushed it is. Now some people like having it perfectly flat. I like having it rounder. And then we're going to do something for style with the leftover palm right there. I'm just going to fold it back on itself a couple times to try to make it look nicer. After we're done with that, we're going to start making the vertical parts. So we'll get that out of the way, and we'll start to feed that through to make the top part of the cross. So we'll feed it through, and we'll start to carry it. Now one thing you can do, is if you go too far like I did right here, you can push it back up to try to make it a bit longer. So then we're going to make the bottom by folding it up. And we're going to see how that looks. So we're taking a look and the arms are a bit too long. So I accidentally bring it out of frame here. So we're just going to pull it through a little bit so that we can shorten the arms of the cross, the horizontal. Now we've got some more dead end right there from the fold knit, so we're going to cut off the bit more of the end. And then we're going to do the same style thing that we did, but you can do whatever you want. So we're just going to fold it through. And that is going to be our finished palm cross. So, you've got some style choices because you can do what I did. You could do the X on the center. You could do a whole bunch of X's using the leftover palm scraps. You can do whatever you want. Thank you for watching.